On this adventure on Lockham U, we pick up our yacht, prepare to move on board, take delivery of our pallet, and get to work unpacking. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It is uh, Christmas Eve, which for my family means it's Christmas. So we're heading over to my sister Karina's house to have family Christmas. It's uh, the 24th of December, obviously. Um, we have been living now with Jamie's uh, parents for about three weeks, I think. Three weeks, sorry. Yep, it's going very well. They are lovely people to hang out with. Um, our livers aren't coping quite as well as they could be, but otherwise it's going well. We are halfway through a variety of farewells, including uh, my work end of year function, Chris Kringle breakfast, and about five or six catch-ups with various friends. We did a trial pack today, um, but pretty much got everything in the bag that we've got left to take. Our pallet has gone. The pallet gets here on the second, because we've rescued it. We spend the whole day unpacking the pallet. The third, we'll shop in the morning. Jake, Carl and the kids will be up there at about one, I reckon. And then, so then a week with them, and then we get back on the night. They leave. Karen reckons she's coming up for two or three days. Um, so that's 10, 11, 12. Jamie's friend Tim thinks he's coming up on the 14th or 15th for four or five days. I reckon we'll just button hop down the coast. Uh, unless it's really nice weather, we might do an overnight sail. Except that we need to be in Sydney for Dave <laughs> for the beginning somewhere. of April. So we were here, that is Shoot Harbour, that's where our boat used to be moored when it was at, uh, in Whitside I rent a yacht, but it's now ours. And we've come out through there, up here, up this channel, there's our little boat sitting up there now on the train, and we're going around to here which is Able Point Marina. With our website, watching some YouTube channels, and waiting for the pallet company to ring us to say that our pallet is about to be delivered. Uh, in which case, we've then got a massive day of emptying essentially a pallet of our house um, onto the boat. So this is the four we got on board yesterday and just dumped all the clothes. Finished product, clean. All wrapped up, lots of room. Shoe, ooh, shoes, dirty washing, hanging clothes, bathers, and still buckets of room. Jamie's wardrobe, so a hanging space. Shoes. Also, still a fair amount of room. Cleaning out a storage compartment under the stern um, starboard cabin to make way for tools and other stuff. Patiently waiting. We're waiting for a phone call to tell us that our pallet, and hence the truck delivering said pallet, is half an hour away. Meanwhile, it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Hmm. So we're watching some YouTube videos. 
and trying to pretend as though we're not getting really impatient. Boat unloading is in progress, as you can probably tell, it's a little bit warm. And uh, we have got all the boat boxes on board. And now we're trying to deal with them as to where we put all this stuff. It's going pretty well. Okay. Got, there's lots of space left. Lots of space. done. We have unpacked our pallet, everything's on board, everything's away, and we are absolutely knackered. There were no tense words, all went well. No, no, and, actually. And there was a lot more space than we thought on board. We could have brought, not that we needed to, uh, but we could easily have brought double the stuff. We would still be unpacking, of course, but we could easily have brought double the stuff. Um, e, tomorrow we have to do a big shop for about seven days plus a stock of like when you just buy a house and you have to buy all the new stuff, so all the core ingredient stuff. So that may be a challenge to fit into the remaining cupboards that we've got, but I'm pretty confident it'll be all right actually. I think you're right. Um, and we've had a challenge of having to name all the different compartments so we knew what we were all talking about. So we've got the laundry, kitchen, pantry, and then We've reshuffled a whole lot of other cupboards to make room Garage for stuff. and tool room. Garage and tool room. Um, but we haven't really used up most of the capacity of the two front berths. They've just got random stuff. We haven't even tried to Tetris it in because there's just so much space in there. We haven't bothered. Mm. And we haven't really had a crack at the outdoor compartments, which most of which I think will be taken up with dive, dive gear, gear, sails, fishing gear, that sort of stuff. So we pretty much left those compartments as they were and the buckets of room in them still. Um, so yeah. So it's time to have a beer. That's got no alcohol in it. And a gin and tonic? Or no, it's just tonic water. Why wouldn't you put gin in there? Gin in the last one. Nevertheless. Cheers. Cheers. Tender. Although our tender still looks okay, unfortunately it was just all the worlds holding her together. Once we got our new tender back, we had to rig up the davits to accommodate the smaller vessel. Last night we realised our anchor light wasn't working, so it's time to throw on the bosun's chair and head up the mast. <laughs> Slow process. Just stop for a second, I'll just spin around. For those of you who don't like heights, look away now. As you can see, the hay was twisted, so I had to do a 360 in order to make it all the way to the top. Yep. Yep. So what I'm seeing is that we have our new globe, the contacts are corroded as, and I don't have 
any steel wall with me. That corrosion just inhibits that current. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm struggling to. I imagine these clothes are cheap. Having not bought one. Let's pop the cap back on. The anchor light was installed incorrectly. So where they've got one of the screws, the screws is too, too far over one side and the cap itself can't go in and secure. So it's secured on one side, the other side was totally loose. So we probably need to permanently replace it properly. But in the meantime, I've cleaned the contacts, put the LED light bulb back in and uh, I'll put some electrical tape around it so it is actually probably secured. But and more importantly, your wife didn't drop you. On the next adventure on Look You, the kids and the grandkids come on board. We go for a splash on the reef and get to hang out with a few locals. Who are you?